What's up everybody? My name is Ricky Levon, author of the book Repeat Offender. In this particular blog, video broadcast, I want to talk about the main character, Henry Hall. Now, the funny thing about Henry's name is that sometimes, even in my mind, I always have to be able to look down, check out the name, and people always wonder, why do you pause sometimes with your character's main name? Number one, sometimes when you're writing on a story, current story, sometimes you just want to make sure that you're okay you know what you're talking about but more importantly actually the name of the character was Henry Hill now the issue with that is that Henry Hill was actually a named character in the book in the movie called Goodfellas luckily through my friend James when I happened to mention that where he said um, you know that's the name of a character in the movie Goodfellas now I've seen the movie before didn't pay any attention to that was that guy's name and because of that then I had to switch it to Hall so every now and then I get a little confused like wait the Goodfellas character hall is a good fellow. Yeah. So sometimes that's what happens. Now Henry was supposed to just be your average person. That's it. Um, someone who does go to church. Um, he's more like what I would call like a generalized Christian. I know that sounds bad, but what I'm trying to say is that you got some people who's always in the church. They're at church two, three times a week. Um, they're serving on multiple boards. They're doing everything they can. You know, they're just like I'm, I'm all about God all time all the time you know all day every day well he's just more of your generalized one who, who goes he believes you know he got some issues got some stuff he's working out that's why he's going to the pastor you know just a generalized Christian um, outside of that he's also someone who's trying to recover he's trying to get over some of the things that he did when he was in his 20s and he's like hey you know what I knew I had an addiction I have a problem with alcohol myself with my wife and everybody so now I'm trying to learn how to overcome that and I like that because it teaches everyone, like, hey, we're all trying to overcome something. So, that's a part of his character. Then also, you start to be able to realize just his attitude, how he talks, how he relates to people. You know, how sometimes you might think one thing like, wow, that outfit is hideous on that person. And then you tell them, hey, that's not bad looking, you know, like, like what you got there. It sounds mischievous, but in reality, we do a lot of things. Oftentimes, we don't really want to say all the time what we're really feeling, but you know, sometimes you're able to be able to hear his thoughts, what's going on, what's he really thinking about. So, Henry to me is one of those characters that I really like because he just seems real. That's the thing about him. It's fast paced, it's, it's the book is quick and everything, but it's all about he just seems real. You feel like you just picked up a book. This guy named Henry, you're talking to him, and you're like, hey, I heard you had a bad day. What happened? And then he, boom, he goes through. And that's pretty much what it is. It's as though he just walks you straight through this day saying, well, it all began when I was at my job at the fast food restaurant, and I heard this news. And then it ends the way that it ends. I won't tell you how it goes, but um, you definitely want to be able to check this out. Get to know more about Henry. He, he is, of course, in every chapter. But his character is so interesting that you don't really even think about it or pay any attention. Trust me. You're going to love it. You're going to enjoy him. You're going to enjoy Henry and how he talks and how he gets his ways, his attitude out to you. All right. I hope you go out there and pick it up. Once again, the name of the book is Repeat Defender. Um, you can get it pretty much anywhere online. Amazon.com is a very popular spot. It's available in paperback and in Kindle. So you, all you ebook readers, um, definitely want to check that out in that format. It's easy to read. You can just click on the chapter thing. It's, it's, trust me, you you really enjoy it. You really love it. For all those that well, I'm not big into books or whatever, it's not even all that long. It's only like 140-something pages. Quick read, exciting. You get into it. The next thing you know, you'll be talking to your friends like, you guys got to pick this up because we need to talk about this guy. This is incredible. All right, but you have a good time. Thank you. Thank you for all those who have been supporting, and have a blessed